What's up guys, welcome back. Today's video is pretty highly requested. So it's going to be my current tanning routine. I have done a few other tanning product review videos on my channel and I feel like you guys really love them because I feel like everyone is always looking for the best tanning product for them, especially in the winter when we're all looking really pasty. So I will take you through my full routine and then give you a review of the products that I've been using recently. It has become my new favorite tanning product. I'm always trying new things. I definitely feel like now that I've tried like five or six different types of face and body tan, I have figured out what works for me. But keep in mind as new things come on the market or as I try new things, I may find a new favorite. But at the moment, this is what I've been loving. So with all of that said, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so last night I applied my tanner and I filmed the process, at least my upper body so that you guys could really see like exactly what I do and how I apply my tan. The product that I have recently been using and absolutely fallen in love with is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam. This is the One Hour Express. So it is just a foam that you squeeze on to this mitt and then apply all over your body. I feel like the mitt is super important and they don't always come together. So make sure if you do end up purchasing this, you also get the mitt because applying it another way will not work the same way. So before I walk you through what I love about this product, I want to share how I apply it. So I will cut in some video right here of me applying this product. But the first step that I actually didn't show initially is exfoliating. So I will always get in the shower and exfoliate my full body, including my face, before I do my tan. This makes sure that all the dead skin is off and that any like dry skin patches or like I said, dead skin, when you put the tanner on, it doesn't grab to those things because you've exfoliated them all away. So this is one of my favorite body exfoliators. It's the Necessaire body exfoliator. It's so good, so natural, smells amazing. It's kind of like a charcoal exfoliator but any exfoliator that you have will do the trick don't feel like you need to buy a new exfoliator to do a tanning routine you just want to make sure that you really exfoliate all the areas that are extra hard to hit when you're tanning so elbows knees ankles wrists and anywhere you might get extra dry skin make sure you exfoliate everything then you're gonna jump out of the shower, make sure you're completely dry and don't add any moisturizer or anything on your body. The only thing you're gonna put on is the tanner. So you'll see here, I'm basically just applying the tanner to my mitt. I use a pretty generous amount and I always start off with my arms and my chest. If I was not filming this video, I would be naked for this process. I wouldn't be wearing a bathing suit. So if you try to recreate this, don't feel like you need to wear a bathing suit unless you want tan lines. Some people like having tan lines. Cool, do you? So you can see as I'm applying this, I'm stopping at my wrist because I don't wanna bring this product onto my hand just yet. You'll see I'm really working it in circular motions all around the fronts and backs of the arm. I'm hitting the armpit. And then when I feel like most of the foam is off of the mitt and blended onto my skin, that's when I will bring the product down onto my wrist, up onto my hand, a little bit on the inner part of my wrist. But you can see it's much lighter because there's way less product. You don't wanna go in with this product directly on your hand right away because then you're gonna get really blotchy and like orange hands. As you can see, my hands and my wrists are totally evenly blended. There's not like a weird line. There aren't blotches. My hands aren't like Cheeto fingers, you know, like the worst things you get when you do a bad tan. I don't have to worry about any of that with this. So that's another one of the reasons I love it. The other thing you can do is grab a makeup brush and when you're all done, like I like to do this at the very end, if you're worried about your hands, this brush has actually been designated like my tanner brush. This is the RT200 Real Techniques brush. I will just use any excess of tanner or put a little bit of the tanner on the mitt and like dab it off the mitt and then apply it on to my hands. You can do that instead of doing my method of like whatever's left over on the mitt or you can do it in addition to. I like to do it in addition to just because I feel like it blends the product, it still gives my hands a little color because I like when my hands are a little tan. I don't want like my whole body to be tan and then my hands are white. Also just feel like my rings always look better with the tan, my nails, everything. So I definitely don't want to avoid my hands. So this is another way to like really blend the product in well and make sure that you don't have any like weird lines. So you can see I repeat the exact same process on the other arm, the other side of my body, and I'm really just making sure everything's rubbed in. Another thing that I love about this product is I don't feel like I have to work so quickly that I'm like stressed when I'm tanning, you know, like when you get a product that dries immediately, you're like, oh my God, this is gonna be 
like such a crazy line. It's like, I could do my whole arm and then look in the mirror and be like, okay, what is, what, what's happening? How do I do? And I'll see a line and then I just buff it out and it comes right out. So I feel like you do have a lot of time to work with it, which again, makes it like a super easy, you know, kind of like beginner friendly tanner. I repeat that process all the way down my body. So once I'm done my arms and my chest, I do my stomach, I do my legs. I use a little bit more on the legs than I do on the arms because my legs are a little bit longer. And then same process when I get to my ankles, just like when I get to my wrist, like I don't go down onto my foot yet. I wait until my entire leg is tanned and then I use whatever the excess is on my feet, my toes, my ankles. And that really allows me not to have any lines or any kind of like weird spots on my feet in those like small kind of difficult areas. A question I get all the time is how do you get your back? I know different companies sell products that like allow you to reach your back. I personally have never used any of those and I wouldn't be able to tan my back without even. Personally, in the winter, I don't think it really matters. Like you don't really need to have a tan back unless you're like going on vacation. But if you wanna do your whole body, I would recommend asking a friend, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, to get your back. It's really easy. Ethan's not a professional by any means and he does a great job. It's really just, he puts the mitt on, puts on the foam and then circular motions all over the back of my neck, down my back and that's it. I can pretty much reach every other area. Okay, so then the last thing I do is my face and this is where this brush comes in handy. Like I said, I'll put a little bit of foam on the mitt and then I will dip my brush into the mitt and just start applying it to my face in circular motions. It's gonna be blotchy, especially on me. My skin is so dry that the tanner, even though I've exfoliated and you know I'm doing everything I can to help not have dry skin, just is what it is. And the tanner is always going to grab onto that dry skin or maybe you have like um, a pimple that's healing or a dark spot or something. The tanner is going to grab onto that and it's gonna look a little bit darker. So like those imperfection areas are gonna look a little bit darker when you're applying the tan. But just keep in mind, once you rinse it off, that will not be the case. You don't have to worry about it. Like whenever I put my face tanner on, I always look crazy and I'm like, people probably put this on and think like, oh my God, I did it wrong. Like this doesn't look good, <laughs> but it's okay. It's totally normal for it to be blotchy on your face. And then when you rinse it off, it should be completely even. I've never had any issues with it. So I'm kind of avoiding my under eye and focusing most of the product on the area where the sun naturally hits you. So I'm putting, you know, the most product where I have bronzer over my nose, um, in this area, but then I make sure I bring it all the way down my neck up here on my temple Like I really want my entire face to be tan. So then I let it set like I said at the beginning of this video This product is a one-hour express I think the fact that this is called one-hour express is probably like my least favorite part of this product Because the first time I used it I left it on for one hour or maybe I left it on for like two because it says on the back 30 minutes you're gonna get a light to medium tan one hour you're gonna get a dark tan and then two to three hours darkest so i think i did one hour the first time and i was like huh not dark enough so last night i actually did four hours i finished at three and then i showered at seven three four five six seven yeah that's four hours and i really like the color i actually feel like i could have left it on like five or six hours i feel like i could have done an extra coat to get like super super tan and this light isn't really doing it justice i'm actually gonna put in a clip from my phone that I just took like five minutes before doing this video so you can see like the real color of my chest and arm because it's it looks a lot better in person than it does in the camera right now but keep that in mind like I do feel like this requires a little bit more marination time I guess if you want to call it like I said I think next time I'll do like six hours because why not once the four hours were up I was pretty dark. That was the one thing I didn't film and I'm sorry that I didn't film that, but it lightens up significantly when you rinse it off. Like if you're starting to get dark and you're like, I'm scared, I need to go rinse this off, just hang tough because it's not gonna be that dark. I rinsed off the full tan. I will pop in that clip right here. So this is exactly what I looked like when I got out of the shower. This was at about 7 p.m. last night. And you can see I'm definitely much tanner than I was before I tanned, but the tan has not fully developed. So, so you do want to give it the full night to get the full developed color. So I'm definitely darker today than I was last night when I went to bed. I always, like I love waking up in the morning after I do my tan because I'm like, ooh, how tan am I going to be? So once you get out of the shower, after you've showered off your tan, after your like three or four hours that you've waited, you have to make sure you moisturize. So the moisturizer that I love is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. This is just one I've been using recently. Any moisturizer is fine, but this one has been amazing. And then for the bump, for the belly, if you don't know I'm pregnant, I have been using the honest 
um, glow on body oil. This has been just like amazing. I just like lather it on. It feels so good. You want to make sure for the first, especially first few days after you tan, you are constantly moisturizing. So I would do like twice a day. That's going to help your tan last a lot longer, but just make sure every time you get out of the shower, you are moisturizing. That is really the key to making your tan last. The other thing is don't exfoliate unless you're ready to get rid of your tan. That is how I take my tan off is I will go back on with my body exfoliator and if there's any like leftover residue which personally I don't feel I feel like this one fades and goes away very naturally and it's not something I have like spots that I need to exfoliate off but if there is anything I'll just exfoliate my body and then I'll do the whole process over again or I will just not tan just make sure that if you want your tan to last if you're wanting it to last don't exfoliate your face or your body at all or you're going to exfoliate the skin off that you've tanned other common questions that i usually get about tanner is does it smell how does it smell is it bearable yes this smells like tanner but to me it's not like this unbearable nasty tanner smell i personally feel like it smells fine ethan will say like oh you smell like tanner and i'm like yeah because i just tanned <laughs> i really think that's kind of par for the course with tanner like I said, this is nothing like offensive that when you put it on, it's like, oh my God, that's awful. It says it has a coconut scent. I would agree with that. The biggest thing is like, once you use this a couple of times, you're gonna figure out how it works for you. You're gonna figure out like, like you may make a couple mistakes like, oh, like there's a spot there or like I have a dry patch there or I should have left it on longer, whatever. But I feel like the learning curve is not that big. So like it really only took me like two times using this before I felt like, okay, I'm a pro at this. And the first couple of times my tan still looked great. I wasn't like, oh my God, I look crazy. You know, if anything, I just felt like the tan wasn't dark enough the first few times. So yeah, that is my full tanning process. That is best practice tips and tricks that I do to make my tan look really even and beautiful. And I absolutely love this tan. If you guys have a favorite tanning product, leave it below. I will link a couple of my other favorite products below in case you're looking for something different. Because like I said, I've reviewed a bunch of other products and I really like other products as well. This is just what I'm using at the moment. I'll link a couple specific to face products. I'll link some more gradual tan options so that basically whatever you're looking for and what I've used, what I really like will be linked below for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time.